Israel Howe and Barry Scott Jacob Stockdale. Uh, the court took this hearing up uh, based on the letter, and, and I want to put some things in the record, and I'll give each side the opportunity to give me their thoughts. Um, I received a letter on February 3rd from Dr. Ahmad, H-H-M-E-D, uh, from Heartland Health Behavior Healthcare. And uh, in the letter, it, it specifically states, following Mr. Stockdale's hearing on February 1st, Heartland staff has expressed concerns about his current status. Uh, particularly early in his admission, he had two documented incidents of attempting to leave the unit in what is believed an effort to evoke from Heartland. During these incidents, he attempted to hide in the hospital library after closing hours. Following this incident and being restricted to the unit, a couple weeks later, he subsequently attempted to blend in with a group of patients who were leaving the unit. Um, later, they go on to say, Mr. Stockdale's current level of functioning, which is more stable, better allows him uh, for him to carry out any potential behaviors or plans he may have. Um, they are recommending that the least restrictive environment for Mr. Stockdale while considering community safety is the Stark County Jail. Um, at that point, I sided with the defense and sent him to Hyde Heartland for the purpose of getting restored his competency. Um, we had on February 19th, Dr. and again, if I mispronounce it, I'm not trying to be rude, Dr. Pontel indicated that the competency was restored. Therefore, we went with a sanity hearing, which on December for evaluation, December 31st of 2020, Dr. Archangelo Wood uh, found uh, him to be sane and could go forward. There's been concerns raised about the defendant's behavior during the whole process. Uh, I know there's twice I had to bring him in for malingering. They felt not cooperating. Um, in my read, judgment entry of February 19th of 2020, just about a year ago, um, I noted in my entry that the staff indicated uh, Mr. Stockdale's access to treatment mall when he made statements to the barber with this new haircut, he resembled his cousin, and if he were able to get keys to the facility, he could walk out. Uh, there were other concerns that were made, and I've noted in my, uh, again, judgment entry of February 19, 2020, that uh, they alleged on November 18th, Mr. Stockdale attempted to hide between the book stacks at the library. They were concerned he was trying to find a way to exit the building. Um, citing incidents that happened in November of 2019 and then uh, the following month, of December of 2019. Um, that's, the, that's the incident that they're pointing to that give them rise to some concern. Um, and then they, they appear to use the, the sanity uh, evaluation as, as some triggering event that things have now changed now. Um, Your Honor, I, I would say that, that Jacob has um, done well while he's there at Heartland, and he has progressed. This court has seen him and heard him um, from being disheveled and nonverbal to now he is you know, showered and clean shaven. Um, he particip participates in group therapy. He goes to mock trial, um, and he not only takes medication, but he gets supervision to, to make sure that he takes that medication. Competency is, is a uh, something that is not just black and white. Um, and uh, right now he's doing well because he's in the appropriate place to maintain that competency. Um, I think we can talk to the sheriff and, and make sure that he's getting the medication that he needs, gets the treatment that he needs. The other thing that, that in a way I think this could benefit him is throughout this time there's been difficulty with Heartland and you getting to see him and going to visit him and. And you have a case, I believe, May 4th coming up and you want to...